Hello, this is Douglas with Other Than Intended Purposes. And if I look like I'm still sitting in the same chair in the same room that I was the last video you watched, it's probably because we decided to film two as long as we had the camera out. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I'm Douglas, Jack's behind the camera. And this is going to be a quick one. Over the years, People have commented a couple of times on the fact that I'm usually wearing a knife around my neck. And even when I wasn't in a wheelchair, I, I liked having the, the access to that. But really, I only started wearing them a lot when I started being in the chair. So today, we're going to cover my neck knives. And after the first two, you're going to notice a theme. <laughs> The first neck knife I ever had, I got it because at the time I didn't know squat about them, and it said it was a neck knife. And this is a SCHF5N by Schrade. And I'm not going to say it's a bad knife. It's got really good retention, and it, it does its job. It's silly because it has a bottle opener on it because everything's a bottle opener. <clears throat> and I wore this for about a year and then I decided, or actually no, I wore this for about three or four months. And I started thinking, you know, I don't like having a neck knife near as much as I thought. Because the chain broke on it once and it's kind of heavy and the pocket clip will hit right across. Well, I'll show you where it hits. The, t this is the pocket clip and it hits right here on my breastbone and if I pushed up against something it would poke in and it was just it was uncomfortable and so I stopped wearing it. And a friend of mine said, hey, you used to wear a neck knife. Why did you stop? And I told him that it was uncomfortable. And so he bought me this one. And this is also a Schrade. It's a SCHF57. The camera was upside down. It's not my fault. Uh, <laughs> and I wore this one for a while. And this one right here almost made it so I did not like the idea of a neck knife anymore. Because this sucker makes this one seem light. And it ain't. And it also bounced a lot. And it was just really annoying. So I stopped wearing neck knives for a while. And then... Jack and I were rolling down the street one day, in, I was in my chair, and we looked down and there was a bag from Walmart sitting on the street. And I thought it was trash and I went to pick it up because I was trying to throw the trash away because it just looked bad. And still in its blister pack was this. And I thought, oh gee. That's cute. That'd be perfect for somebody the size of my daughter-in-law, who you can almost put in your back pocket. <laughs> but then I took it out, and I put my fingers around it, and I'm like, holy crap, that's actually comfortable. And it's got a little bit of jimping up here, and it's a Bowie-style blade, and I kind of like that. And so I started wearing it. Now this is five years old, six years old, something like that. Yeah, it was right after we moved in here. That'd be also seven years. Yeah. It's about seven years old. I carried this full time for about two years and I've carried it on and off since and it still that was Jack's toe too. Stop popping things. It still locks in. And so I started looking at it and it was like, wow, okay, it's minimalist and it's Foltz design. So I looked up Foltz. Turns out that's Alan Foltz out in Florida. And he came up with this design for this uh, the fingers on here that, and in his words, fell comfortably for just about every size hand. And I was looking at it, I was like, man, I have some big hands, and that is actually comfortable. I like that. So I started looking at other Allen Foltz designs, which is when I came across the Warncliffe. I like a Warncliffe. I always have. Exact same handles, exact same placement. Alan puts these 
um, lanyards on it. Like I said, I'm not normally a, a lanyard guy, but what that does is that actually gives your pinky a grip. So when you put that in your fingers and you grab onto that, you've got a four-fingered grip on a three-fingered knife. And again, nice jimping up here, really easy to control, great little package opener, string cutter, things like that. Though it looks like that uh, little lanyard is starting to stretch, you might want to... No, this is a smaller no, cord. No, uh, on oh, the... this one? Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I use these a lot, and so I've actually... We're, we're going to get to something about that here in a minute. The next one that I got... I got because I, I went online, and there is actually... On Facebook, there is a... It's the same as this one. Okay. There is a minimalist users group mug. And actually this one came later. This one it was because of the was the first one because of the mug. Now this has got just some string on it right now because as Jack was saying, I I grip pretty hard. I, I broke a couple of these lanyards and I got some on here. I'm gonna make myself another lanyard. I just haven't yet. But this one was one that, this is also the only custom I have that's from Allen. Man, that's good retention. This is an Allen Foltz custom. It's not from CRKT. The rest of these are from CRKT. And this originally was a mug only design. And it, it's the Persian. And I was very, very lucky and fortunate to get one of these. And this is CPM 54 steel, I believe. I don't remember, but I think so. The rest of these are like 8CR uh, MOV 13. 8CR 13 MOV. Ow. But... See, I'm not the only one popping. <laughs> this one, as a custom, has a much thicker spine, uh, a thicker material. It is a finer material. It's a better grade material, but it's also thicker. They're all full tang. Every one of them are full tang. And I love this knife. It is so easy to maintain. It keeps the edge on this is sharp enough. I could take I could shave if I wanted to. But then you'd see my face and I wouldn't do that to you guys cuz you seem nice. <laughs> it came with two of the sheaths, I believe. Yeah, the other sheath is orange. Um, along that line, still staying with the, the mug group, Alan finally came out with a cleaver design. And I love cleavers. And again, I was very, very fortunate to not only get... This one has MUG, the uh, Minimalist Users Group mug, on the blade. And it also is numbered. And that was a special release for the group. And so this one I'm keeping nice just because it is number 14 of 50 for the group. And I really like it. And so I use it at my desk sometimes, but I'm keeping it nice. Along those thoughts, though, I did have to pick me up a cleaver because there's something badass about walking around with a cleaver on your neck. And th this is the uh, CRKT version, and it's just a production run. But if you didn't see that next to my hand, you'd think that was a, a kitchen cleaver. I mean, that's a badass little cleaver. And it still has the three grip, three fingers, and then the lanyard. And you'll see this one around my neck a lot because I've been wearing this one for about a year now. I believe so. Yeah. And there's only one left on the table, and this one isn't. A minimalist but it is a necker and I have worn it a few times I stopped wearing it and I'm gonna risk my my uh, smog. smog yeah that's why I stopped carrying it because when that happens and you're sitting in a wheelchair and it sticks to your chair seat in a very unfriendly area I need to get my kydex press out heat this up and, and press it down better because the just it's CRKT and sometimes they're um, sheaths aren't the best. 
But like I said, I really like a, a Warncliffe. And this again, this is a Foltz design, but it's a little bit bigger than the Minimalist, and it's a Warncliffe. Which brings me to the last one I want. Well, last one for now. The, 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 last min, uh, the last one I'm looking at is, with the same handle as this and a little bit bigger, there is now, this is the spew, which is... Something Everyday Warncliffe. I don't remember what SP stands for. It stands for something. But there's a cleaver version that is longer, like this is a longer Warncliffe, with this handle, that's the spec. I'm going to get that one, and if, I, if, the sheet, if the retention on that one is good, that's going to be what's around my neck every day, because it's still a cleaver, but it's a little bit bigger. <laughs> so, there's a lot of debate. A lot of people love neck knives, a lot of people hate neck knives. I'm not trying to change your mind about them, but if you have ever thought about carrying one, the Fultz Minimalists, the CRKT production line are, are really affordable. The actual Allen Fultz handmade ones are a little more premium, not a little more, they're premium. They are straight up premium. They cost more money because they are handmade by the designer out of premium materials and the fit and finish is better and everything about them is just amazed me. But if you are thinking about getting... Now there are other designs of this. There's a spear point. I think there's a couple of more. But the, uh, the Bowie, classic style blade, the, the um, Warncliffe, and I doubt he's going to because this is a really small channel, but Alan, if you see this, sheep's foot. Think sheep's foot. Next time you're in there playing around, think, hey, sheep's foot. <laughs> so get out in the woods. Have a good night. Remember, the best equipment in the world doesn't mean anything if you don't learn how to use it. And I know I was in the middle of saying something and forgot what it was, so extrapolate on my mindset and you'll run crying into the corner. No, just good night. <laughs>